Thousands of people waiting. There's never been anything like this, I will say that. With uh, being very humble, I'll say that, Jeff. Is that okay? But there's never been anything like it. We have uh, tremendous crowds. You saw the lines. They formed two days ago. So we're going to uh, make two stops. And uh, well, you're going to be with us a little bit. And I know you're going to be with us a little bit. And we have a very exciting election coming up. We're doing very well in North Carolina, very well in Florida, very well. Pretty much everywhere we're looking, we're doing very well. And when people find out really what we've done and how good the economy is and how it's coming back, the numbers are fantastic. So we we seem to be in very good shape. Any questions? Can you give us the latest on stimulus talks? On stimulus talks? Yeah, we're having uh, talks today. We're discussing it today very solidly. We'll see what happens. Have you talked with Leader McConnell? Nancy Pelosi at this moment does not want to uh, do anything that's going to affect the election. And I think it will affect the election negatively for her. So we'll see what happens. But there are talks going on as we speak. Have you talked with Leader McConnell? I don't want to comment on that. But the Republicans will come along. President, why did you uh, criticize Dr. Fauci? Does it have anything to do with his high standing in public sentiment? No, I think really uh, Dr. Fauci is a very nice man, but we let him do what he wants to do. He gets a lot of television. He loves being on television, and we let him do it. Sometimes he says things that are a little bit off, and they get built up, unfortunately. But he's a nice guy. I like him. But he's called a lot of bad calls. He said, don't wear a mask. And he said, don't ban China. They were bad calls. He admits that. And I don't hold that against him. If I did, I wouldn't have him. No, I think he's a nice guy. Huh? I don't want to. I don't want to hurt him. He's been there for about 350 years. I don't want to hurt him. Well, they used to say, don't wear a mask. So, you know, you have people on both sides of it. But I'm OK. Excuse me. I'm OK with masks. I, I like it. I think it's good. A lot of people like it. This gentleman has done an incredible job in Arizona, and he's taken a very tough stand, but he's let his economy grow. And frankly, if they would have done that in Michigan and various other places where the governor's just shut it down for everybody except for a husband, his attitude, you know, they had a spike, and he let the spike play, and they were careful, and now your state is really in great shape. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. So proud uh, the Chief of Staff said today that there'll be a lawsuit filed on Section 30 on the tech company. Who Did said that? Who said that? Mark Meadows said that as soon as today there could be a lawsuit filed. Is well, you know, the uh, they've given, they've been given great protection. And when they take down uh, people like Charlie Kirk, you know, Charlie Kirk is a terrific person. And I was, I just heard that he was taken down. And how can you take down Charlie Kirk? He's mainstream conservative, but solid as a rock. He represents a point of view. And he's putting up something from the New York Post, which is a respected newspaper. I'll tell you what, the biggest winner in this whole thing is a newspaper called the New York Post, the oldest paper in our country. So what they have done is really, I'm very proud of them. Are you filing a lawsuit or is the campaign filing a lawsuit? You'll be seeing very soon. You don't understand. I understand well. You don't understand, and you never have understood. Is the election going to be a repeat of 2016? Jimmy I think so. I think we'll do better than 2016. We're way ahead of where we were in 2016, and I've done things that nobody's ever done. We built the greatest economy in the world, and we're building it rapidly again. If you look at Arizona, you look at the job they've done, and I'm just leaving other states that, I mean, every one of these Republican-run states are doing phenomenally. The Democrat-run states are not, but they're not going to affect our numbers very much. I think they're going to open up on November 4th. They'll be opening up on November 4th. And by the way, the fact that Kristen Welker is, you know, a dyed-in-the-wool, radical left Democrat or whatever she is, okay. Okay, then ask, why are you defending her? Then ask her, why did she delete her account? Would you please have her put her account back? And you know what? It's not going to affect. I know you want to stick up. It's not going to affect me. I'm going to be there. But, you know, I told you about the last one, and I was right. And I told you about Savannah Guthrie, and I was right. And I'm telling you about Kristen Welker.
Kristen Welker should put all of her statements back on. She deleted her entire account. She shouldn't do that. With what? Would they try and have the moderator be able to turn off the mics? Is that what they're I, I have no idea. Uh, I'm doing this. What am I doing to prepare? I'm doing this. I've done, I've done very well in debates, and you know, you do what you do. You just do what you do. The last debate, I had two on one. I usually have two on one at least. And I did well on the last debate, and we did well with Savannah Guthrie based on reports. But all you can do is, look, you know, you go around, we do interviews with you. This is like, I call this debate prep. <laughs> this is actually tougher than a debate, if you want to know the truth. Will you do the testing before the debate, and will you authorize your, Will you do the testing before the debate, and will the you testing? Yes, the COVID testing. And will you authorize your doctors to tell us when Sure, you I would have no problem with it. I'm not only am I free, positive, or whatever, what would you call it? I'm totally free, right? Not only am I free, I'm immune, they say. They say, if you've had it, you're immune. Now, the question is, are you immune for four months or for the rest of your life? That's the only thing we don't know. Do you authorize your doctors to tell you when you tested negative last before sure. the last Is that event? very important to you? Yes, you seem sure to be is. so intent. But if it's so important to you, why is it so important to you? Because we want to know how long know, you may have why? been. Why? We want to know if you followed the rules. I know, but why is it so day? important to you? Do you authorize your Look at the dedication. To yeah, my doctors have already given it. You know, my doctors have given more information than has been given on any human being in the history of the world. Go ahead. campaign strategy seems to be to call Biden a criminal. Why is that? He is a criminal. He's a criminal. He got caught, read his laptop, and you know who's a criminal? You're a criminal for not reporting it. You are a criminal for not reporting it. Let me tell you something. Joe Biden is a criminal, and he's been a criminal for a long time. And you're a criminal in the media for not reporting it. Good luck, everybody. Have a good time. Have a good time.